good morning to everyone this is gayatri today i want to discuss about nomenclature and classification of no enzymes okay first we have to know about the enzymes enzymes enable the in human body to digest nomenclature and classification of enzymes enzymes enable in the human body to digest and absorbs nutrients in our body any living organisms need enzymes to function properly and the enzymes in your body perform very important tasks and the enzyme is a type of protein found within the cell and they create chemical reactions in the body and they actually speed up the rate of chemical reaction to help and support the life and the enzymes perform many tasks like uh, building muscle destroying toxin and we don't need to adopt enzymes from nature and they produce naturally in our body and the second one is nomenclature nomenclature means nothing but naming of enzymes international union of biochemistry and molecular biology adopts rules in 1992 for the systematic and classification and digestion of enzymes and this based on the reaction specificity and the enzymes classified into six major groups which are oxyreductases transferases hydrolyzes and lyases isomerases and ligases and the principle every creature in the earth has a name and the name dependent upon some principle like that enzymes classification and principles dependent upon some principle and the first principle is ending name of the enzyme by as like that and they should be only for single enzyme and the single enzyme single catalytic enzymes and they should not be applied to systems containing more than one enzyme when it is desired to name the such a system on the basis of the overall reaction catalyzed and the we named as succinase oxidase but it may be called the succinate oxidase system other examples of systems consisting of uh, several structurally and functionally linked enzymes are the pyruvate deoxidase system and the second principle is the the second of enzyme named according by their chemical reactions and several alternative bases for classification and naming has been considered example chemical nature of the enzyme whether it is a flavoprotein, protein a hemoprotein a pyridoxal phosphate protein a copper protein and so on or chemical nature of the substrate and the first cannot serve as a general basis for only a minority of enzymes have such identified prosthetic groups and the chemical nature of the enzymes has however been used expeditiously in certain cases and the systematic name and according to the international union of biochemistry the enzyme systematic classification divided into two parts and first part is the naming of the substrates for the enzyme and second part is the type of reaction and these parts ends with the suffix as we see the example lactate dehydrogenase ec number nothing but enzyme commission number is a numerical classification for the uh, numbering of the enzymes for example ec number 5.3.3.2 indicated the isopentylene disulfide isomerism and the with the the nomenclature was determined by the enzyme commission like that uh, the classification does not take into the account of amino acid sequence uh, example homology protein structure or chemical mechanism enzyme classification we already uh, studied about the enzyme uh, differentiated into six groups like that oxyreductases means catalyzing oxidation reduction reactions and the transferases catalyzing the transfer of functional groups and the hydrolases catalyzing the hydrolysis reaction and the lyases catalyzing group elimination reactions to form double bonds and the isomerases catalyzing isomerization bond rearrangements and the sixth one is ligases catalyzing bond formation reactions couples with the atp hydrolysis enzyme nomenclature and classification we already studied about the nomenclature and classification enzymes are commonly named by adding a suffix as to root the name of the substrate and that, that examples lipase catalyzes the hydrolysis of a lipid triglyceride into fatty acids and glycerol and the sucrase catalyzes the hydrolysis of sucrase into glycose and fructose a few enzymes discovered before this naming system was devised are known by common names examples are pepsin trypsin and chymotrypsin which catalyzes the hydrolysis of proteins okay thanks to everyone